Welcome back to outdoor studio season. It feels good. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. And today we will be talking about nippers and other ways to cut your fishing string. I think we should start off by thinking outside the box a little bit. Do you even need to cut your line? A lot of times the answer is no. See this tag end? Fish do not care about that, I promise you. There's no need to cut it off. Or you can do what I do and learn to tie your knot so the tag end is so small that it doesn't even matter. But you're probably a huge fly fisherman and you're super anal about everything and you like to trim your knots. Fine. Some of you are probably watching this with a smug look on your face thinking that you're better than everyone else saying to yourself, this guy's an idiot. I don't even need nippers. I just use my teeth. Great, good for you. But I like my teeth and I don't want to break them, so I use a tool to cut my line. So let's talk about different line cutting tools. We'll start with real basic fingernail clippers. These will work just fine and you most likely already own them. The drawback is that they're probably not branded, so when they're dangling from your vest, no one is gonna know you're a huge fly fisherman. So what's the point of even using them? Next, we've got simple nippers that are made for fishing. They aren't sharp to begin with and they won't last long, but they're super cheap and they work. For years, I wore a zinger on my shirt with basic nippers and hemos. Simple, effective, and cheap. But you're a huge fly fisherman, so simple, effective, and cheap isn't really your bag. Let's talk about upgraded nippers. I've always thought these were cool, the big nippers. Easy to use, and they'll cut big tippets. And then there's premium nippers. What's the definition of premium nippers? For me, it means jaws that are sharp, jaws that are replaceable, and a product that will last a long time. Able is famous for their ridiculously overpriced premium nippers that cost $250. $250! All they do is cut line, just like your fingernail clippers. What's next, thousand dollar fly rods? Oh wait, $250 for nippers is ridiculous, of course. But I guess enough morons are buying them that Abel stepped it up with these nippers with the widespread panic logo for $345. Insane. Okay, now let's talk about a special case here, the lid rig. I went in depth on this in the longer version of my worst products in fly fishing video on my OnlyFans and not on YouTube. I came at them pretty hard, so I won't give you the whole sleazy story again here. Let me just say this. Lid rig is a lot like moonshine rods. They're an in-your-face marketing company that you can't put on mute that's selling a crappy product. They've done a good job of getting the word out there by giving a pair of nippers and a hat to anyone with a thousand Instagram followers. And I want to remind all those hot shots about one thing. The pro in pro staff stands for promotional, not professional. They're using you. Let's talk about scissor clamps or scissor forceps. This is a tool that combines a small pair of pliers with scissors to cut your line. This is what I use on a daily basis. I use the forceps for removing hooks, smashing barbs, adding or removing split shot, and picking my nose. I use the scissor part for cutting my line and the occasional on the water surgical procedure. This is the right tool for me. One item that does lots of things. There's also the mitten version of this tool, which some people like, but not me. I like the finger holes. Also, some people like to clamp their forceps to their shirt or whatever, not me. I will lose them this way. I put them in my pocket because I'm not a heathen. Kind of similar to clamps is a pair of pliers with cutters. Salt guys, big game or predator anglers, this is what you want. Made for cutting bigger lines and handling bigger flies and tasks. Trout weenies, you don't need these. And that's it for today. I think I've covered most of what's available out there to cut your fishing string. If you use something else that I didn't go over, like maybe a chainsaw or something, leave a comment and let us know. Thank you as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, be your own angler and stay huge. Yes, I know that was the fish logo and not widespread panic. Thank you very much.